In this video, we are going to divide polynomials. So how do you, so you have a lot of chat division looking problems. These are pretty straightforward, but it gets a little bit different when you have addition and subtraction. That's kind of more of where we're heading. Um, so to divide polynomials, you're literally just going to divide each term by the denominator. So it's very straightforward on this first five, but we'll show you what we mean by these up next, um, the last two. So if you're doing division, you're really just kind of doing a canceling kind of a thing. You're simplifying the fraction essentially. Um, so really you're looking at one of the X's on the bottom is canceling out one of the X's on the top and it's gonna leave you with the three. So it's two X to the third. Uh, if you're looking at this one, you got a six divided by a two. So a two goes into both of those. So that'd be a one, that'd be a three. And then you got three Y's on the bottom, canceling three of the Y's on the top. So that would leave you with a three y squared. All right, but sometimes you have more x's on the bottom than you do on the top. And so the fours would cancel, giving you ones. The x on the top would cancel with one of the x's on the bottom. And you would just have a negative. Oops, made a negative on that one as well. Um, and you have an x left over on the bottom, nothing left over on the top. So you should have a one still left. All right here, you got a five and a 15, five goes into both. So that's goes into it one time, goes into it three times. More X is on the top by two. So you're getting still a fraction with a three on the bottom and two X is left on the top because two of those will cancel two of those. And they do it too. All right, and then here, we're gonna take a three out of both of them. So that leaves it with a one, leaves us with a four. You got X to the third on the bottom, you got X on the top. So you got more X's on the bottom by two. So you'd have a four and an X squared left on the bottom and nothing on the top because that X would cancel one of those X's. So then at minimal, we should leave it as a one. All right, so here's where we get to the adding subtracting ones. All that means is you're gonna divide each term by that denominator. So it turns into three X cubed minus X squared, but each of them is gonna be divided by X cubed. All right, so it basically becomes two problems in one. So, um, the x to the third on the top cancels the x to the third on the bottom, just leaves you with a three. You got one more x on the bottom than you do on the top. So all of those would cancel all but one of those. All right, and then the last is this one. So we're going to take six x to the third. We're going to divide that one by two x squared plus two x squared divided by itself, 2x squared. So if you have that one, that one is gonna be the two is gonna divide into the six, two goes into two one time, two goes into six three times, two of those x's will cancel two of those x's and leave you with the one. So you're left with the three x on the first piece and then plus, 2x squared divided by 2x squared, they totally cancel each other out and leave you with a one. All right, and that was dividing polynomials, at least when you have just dividing by a monomial on 